Hi guys, it's Ms. Shapsla and we're back and we have a haul and we have the winner of the giveaway. Yay! So fittingly, I put you all in a goodwill bag and I put all the names of all the people that commented and subscribed uh, in here. You will have 24 hours to respond before I pick a new name. Um, so 24 hours from the time this goes up, probably, I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 4.30. So we'll say 6.30 tomorrow night. So you have Monday, 6.30, you must message me by then or else I will be picking a new name. Um, so good luck, everyone. We'll do this first. So everybody that commented and subscribed is in here. If I check and you're not subscribed, you will be disqualified. So, do, 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 do. good luck. And the winner is Sally Spence. So Sally Spence, you have 24 hours to contact me. And I will send your item out depending on where you are. Thank you everyone who participated and commented and some of you that I don't think even knew they knew they were involved. <laughs> um, so you have Sally Spence one more time. You have until tomorrow at 6.30 to contact me before I pick another number or another name. So congratulations, Sally. All right, now let's get into my haul. So I have some thrift, some garage sale, and some to retail. <gasps> yeah, I know. I bought retail. Okay, so let's get started. We'll do random first. Now, I have been super into the Southwest theme with the jewelry and whatnot, and I came across these at a garage sale. Now, I have sold these necklaces a lot recently. Um, I guess this is just in style right now. So I picked these up. These were a quarter a piece. Uh, these I picked up as well because I thought they were just so cute. And they are, those look like snail shells, don't they? I have these all over my backyard. <laughs> um, they are some sort of, is it snails? That's creepy. I'm not mad at it, but it's kind of. Kind of creepy. All right, so it's this little bud vase. This was 50 cents, and I just thought it was really unique and cute. So I picked that up. Uh, these are all from the same sale. This was 50 cents. And again, I think these are cute, and they would look really cute outside. This was 50 cents as well. And are these seashells, or are they snail shells? There's a couple broken ones, but for the most part, it's in pretty good condition. And these are very retro vintage in right now. So I picked those up for 50 cents a piece. These ones were also 50 cents a piece. And I just thought together they were really, really cute. Hold on. She had a ton of pottery and probably some of it was worth money. I just don't know much about pottery. However, fast forward in the next coming, one of the next coming videos, um, I did tell you I'm going to start showing you everything I bought. Some videos may just be for what I'm selling and not so much this kind of stuff um or I may put them together I haven't figured that out yet but I will be showing you and I did just pick up some pottery which was out of my element but I loved them so I feel like it's just buy what you love and usually <laughs> there's somebody else out there that likes it too so with that being said I picked these up for 50 cents a piece and these are Native American painted so we got this one with the rainbow and the what are those dunes i think this one and this bigger one but i thought they were so cute and colorful so this one is by suez pottery made by the sioux indians faith swan to be exact this one had this in it, and it says, Not Silid Pottery, Rainbow Signature Pottery. This Indian hand-painted pottery comes from the high plateau country of the West, where the deserts and the mountains meet. The Native American artists who sign each piece combine their natural 
artistic talents with the inspiration of their culture and breathtaking beauty of their homeland. Every piece has its own character and mystical appeal. Lead free paint, paints, blah, blah, blah. Cedar Mesa products. So these, I believe, are both Cedar Mesa. And this one says not not sim is that what the not silid pottery okay so i thought they were really cute and to combine them together uh maybe put this one up a little higher i think they're just really really cute now my taste is all over the place i don't have a specific style i just like what i like so you will see super blingy stuff and then you'll see victorian stuff and then you'll see you know, like the cherub babies and the angels and stuff, or you'll see Native American. It's kind of just a mix. And I like it that way because you know what? It's me. It's not cookie cutter. I took somebody else's house idea and made it my, you know, made a duplicate copy of it in my house. I just kind of do what I do, what I like. And, you know, each to their own. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> uh, I picked these up. So Disney is always, a now these are for resale. Disney is always a good resale, especially Christmas stuff. I picked these up for $5. There's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and a couple other Disney princesses. I'll probably sell them for $20 total. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I'm not sure, but I figured just the Snow White and Seven Dwarfs alone was worth it. And if I don't sell them, my daughter wants to do a complete tree of Disney, so I will just give them to her. So it's either way, it's not a loss. This I picked up for, I want to say it was 50 cents or a dollar. You know, I love big, big clunky jewelry. If I could find a silver bracelet in this, a sterling silver bracelet this big, I would be in my freaking glory. I want one so, so bad. Have not found one yet, but I am on the lookout. Uh, this is a Kate Spade mug. It just says classic, classic trench coat. And the back, it says always in style, forever chic graceful under barometric pressure pressure it's a pun haha -ha, punny very punny so i picked this up this was a dollar so what i'm doing with that is i have a couple other kate spade pieces that i've picked up throughout the year i think i have a bud vase um a ring holder a picture frame and i'm going to add a brand new purse to it and i'm going my a friend of mine that her daughter has a very rare uh, disorder. I think it's called CRPS where she has extreme pain and I think they call it the suicide disease. It's very, very sad, very scary. Um, and they don't have a cure for it as of yet, but they are putting together a, uh, benefit for her to get treatment. I believe in Ohio, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I donated a, a Kate Spade purse already to one of the other events that she had for this but this one I'm just going to do a big Kate Spade one with all Kate Spade items and then I'm going to do a wine one with like wine and wine chillers and all this other cutesy stuff so that's what I'm doing with that um la, 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 so much random I did pick this towel up I think it was three dollars did I show this to you I don't know if I showed it to you already but here it is again it's a wine lover's kitchen towel and it says, drink up, bitches, and today I am bitches. Because I am having some wine, and we are having pizza for dinner. I am not doing anything. We were supposed to do haunted house stuff with uh, Princess Casserole and her hubby, but it is unfortunately going to rain, and it's like um, a haunted co corn maze and a hayride, so we definitely don't want to be wet and cold. So we're just home for the night. Uh, next, I picked these up. These were a dollar piece. And they are two Chanel sunglass or eyeglass holders. Uh, I do have two pairs of Chanel eyeglasses. I'm actually wearing a pair right now. Uh, so I picked these up because my other ones were in rough condition. Because this material is not leather. At least I don't think it is. And it just gets jacked up so easily. So, oh, oh. Thank you for all the sweet comments about my Miss Coco. I did want to share a little... Thing with you guys so if you follow my instagram she is a murderer she is a furry sweet murderer and she has so far murdered a rat which good for her <laughs> a poor defenseless baby garden snake and yesterday she brought in earthworms because we had a really hard rain and all the earthworms were out and she was in her glory running around grabbing them 
Now, in her midst of killing things, she also killed my Issa Laurent bag. Rest in peace, sweet girl. She murdered it. She ate it. I am so, you know, I can't be pissed because it's my own fault. She got to it somehow and she ate that bitch and I'm so upset. So she has very expensive taste, literally. Uh, it was in actually one of my videos. I'll see if I can put it in the description, but it's in one of my um, opening videos, box opening videos. So if you want to go back and look and see my pain, there's a cute little crossbody while I sell that she ate. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, moving on. Dead and gone. Let's move on. Uh, this I picked up for $2. It is a Yankee Candle. Now, this is a little selling tip. Um, this is peppermint coconut or cocoa. Peppermint cocoa. It is a big one. It is not my favorite scent. I do not. I like peppermint and cocoa together. Not like in a drink, but like, you know, like a York peppermint patty or something. I do not like to smell it. Oh, no. It smells just like it, but I don't like to smell it. So this was burned once. Now, the thing about these is, oh, first of all, it's got this thing on, which sometimes these are worth money because you cannot get no, get them no more and they're candle toppers. This one, however, is broken, so I'm going to throw that out. Um, but this is a Yankee black band candle. And the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tongue tied today. The Yankee black band candles are worth more because they were highly scented. Um, if you go if you go on uh, eBay and you search black band Yankee candle, you will see go to solds on the lower on the right hand side. You'll see like the filter. Go to completed or solds, and then search highest to lowest, and you'll see that some of these black band candles can sell for. I think what the highest one is like eight hundred or a thousand dollars. I did sell one of these candles, not this scent, for three hundred. So they do sometimes sell very, very, very well. Um, this one, I'm not really sure how much it's worth. I picked this up for a dollar, so anything over a dollar is worth it. I will not burn this because I hate the smell. My husband loves, 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 loves cherries on snow. Oh. I hate the smell of cherries. I like cherry flavor. I just, I can't, it gives me nauseous. Um, some scents just turn my stomach, and this is one of them. I could do just plain peppermint, but the peppermint and chocolate, ugh, no. Okay, then we have this is Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray. It's just a makeup finishing spray, <laughs> a setting spray, if you will. This was 99 cents. I really, really, really want to try that one that's all over TikTok. Uh, I can't remember it, but it's like for like studio, like theater and like your makeup does not move. Okay. Uh, all right. So I think we have most of the random stuff done. Now we can get into like the jewelry and the sunglasses and whatnot. I picked this case up for 49 cents. I needed a Ray-Ban case. I also found these while I was there and these were 99 cents. And these are Michael Kors. I normally don't like Michael Kors just because I have so much more high-end glasses. But I did like the color, this like matte gold. And these are, let's see, Antonella something. Michael Kors Antonella. So these were 99 cents. So I paid $1.50 for the two. Now, next. We'll do jewelry. Okay. Now, two of these, one was bought, one wasn't, was gifted, and one was bought. So I picked this up. I don't know if I ever showed you this or not. Uh, there is a guy that Miss Princess Casserole t told me about who buys, like, scrap jewelry, and he's super nice. I have been in there, and I recommend him to everybody in the area. Uh, he gives you a really good price on scrap, and his jewelry is not bad priced. I did see this when I went to scrap some stuff. And don't worry, I don't scrap anything that is sellable. It's all really broken, bent Nothing, nothing good. I see people 
scrapping good stuff and it makes my heart sad. Anyways, it is this necklace. I paid $42 for it. Now, that is a lot for me to spend on jewelry, but I freaking loved this piece. He's sterling silver, and this is probably like a rose gold over sterling. It is this panther. And he's biting down. He has all these crystals. And you open his mouth like so, and you can make it longer, shorter, whatever. It is by, this is 925 Italy. I forget the designer, but it's probably like a $200 necklace. And, oh wait, does it say here? Oh, it does say here. Let's see if we can see that. I'm blind, y'all, so I can't see that. Uh, let me see. What do we have here? Da, 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 da. Don't look at my nails. And Giordana. Anyways, and there's his little paw. Oh, so gorgeous. I love this. One of my favorite pieces. Um, I don't have a lot of high-end jewelry. Uh, some of the ones that I have gotten is from a very good friend from uh, my Facebook group and who watches my videos. Hi, Kyla. Um, so I don't have a ton of high-end stuff, but I am starting to build up my collection. Uh, this, okay. So this one I seen at TJ Maxx and I was like, oh my God, that is the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. And it had my name written all over it. And I sent a picture to my husband and he's so sweet. He went to got, buy it for me the next day. So after he bought it, I researched it and I wound up buying another one to resell. Um, but he bought this for me. I love it, love it, love it. It was supposed to be for Christmas, but yeah. Give it to me now. And it is this gorgeous piece. He is so gorgeous. It is by... Um, Cote de... I can't remember the name of it. But he's all rhinestones. And it is sterling silver. And it reminded me of the Cartier necklace like this it is just so so gorgeous i love it i'm this is a forever piece he is so sweet um this is actually one of the only pieces of jewelry he's ever bought me besides my promise ring and my wedding and, and engagement ring because i've told him not to buy me jewelry because i have a very I have a very specific style and I don't want him to spend a lot of money on something I wouldn't wear. Like all my friends, they get diamond earrings for, you know, like $5,000. And I'm just like, I don't, that's just not me. Like they're beautiful, but it's just not something I want. So, but that piece is amazing. Now, when I seen this piece, I also seen this piece and... I went, I called ahead and had them hold it for me because I had to have them both. Um, I had no idea I was even getting this one, but I was, I had a gift certificate from my BFFs. Thank you, ladies. Um, they always get me gift certificates because we exchange gifts and I told them this year I want gin and gift cards. And they all got me like a bottle of gin and a gift card. Mostly I got eBay, which is my favorite. But um, I did get TJ Maxx, which is my second favorite. So I will show you the other necklace. <sighs> Can you? Oh, my God. So he's reminiscent of the tiger one where he's biting his tail. Oh, my God. And he's rhinestone and he is blingy and he is shiny and he is mine. And I love him. So this one is by, oh, it doesn't say, it just says Cubic Zirconia. And he's sterling silver as well. <sighs> Can you not? Oh my God, look at just, oh. Just look at him, he's gorgeous. So sometimes you gotta get retail because if you see something you love, you're never gonna find that. without. And I searched, so before he bought it, because you know I'm a savvy, Savvy, savvy shopper. 
I searched the internet for that panther necklace and I could not find him less than 300 and anything less than 300 he was already sold so he was very hard to find moving on next is this little bag I think I have a couple jewelry pieces in here and some sunglasses so first I got these Ray-Ban no, oh no yeah these are Ray-Ban these were a dollar so Miss Coco also destroyed these oh yeah it is these these were perfect and she grabbed them and cracked them bit them and while my brother was here she I told him don't take off your shoes <laughs> and without putting them up and don't um be careful with anything that you have and he didn't watch his glasses sunglasses and she ate his coasters coaster coaster sunglasses sorry <laughs> Yeah, she is. Uh, I can't wait till she gets out of this chewing phase. All right, so these are all marked. I can't remember. This says Roman. These are all half price. So this was, these were a dollar. I'm not sure what Roman is. They're very, very pretty. They are not, they're not my style because I wear bigger earrings, but I thought these were really pretty and I'll either resell them or give them to somebody. Uh, these were also a dollar. These are so pretty. My daughter likes smaller earrings, so I'll probably give them to her. And these were marked, what are these marked? Nola Miller? Nolan Miller. I'm not quite sure who Nolan Miller is, but these were only a dollar, and these look blingy as heck. So I picked those up. All the pins were a quarter, so I picked... These two up, I don't know where this one came from. I didn't pick this up. She must have just thought I did. Somehow it was behind the counter. I paid for it, but I don't want it. Um, I picked up these C's. So I have a jean jacket with all pins. Like, mostly it's Chanel. I think there's like a Gucci pin on there. So I'm going to add these on there as well. They're nothing. They're not like marked anything. They're not, um, they're not gold or silver or anything, but they're cute. Uh, this was, this, this was a dollar, so it was 50 cents. This is all glass. I don't know if this is Murano or not, but I just thought that was so pretty. It's too big for me. Maybe not. I just think it's really, really pretty, but I will probably wind up reselling this because it's just not something I would wear, but it is really, really pretty. And these two I picked up. Okay. I have never heard of this. So this is a leather cord. Oh, I got you guys still on. And it looks like this. It's so pretty. It's like a, um, I forgot what that's called. Asian, is that a gazebo? I don't remember. Anyways, it's beautiful. And it's stamped Symbiotic Expressions K Kitchen Art 09 of 50. I don't know what that means. But it is very pretty. And I will be selling this. Um, I'm not sure. So if you see something you like and you're interested in, just message me. Shoot me an offer. Because um, every when I say I'm going to sell something, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be on Mercari unless someone asks me to put it on there specifically. I sell in all different. I sell in a, different, a bunch of different uh, venues, whether it's garage sale or... Um, doing shows or doing, um, dropping stuff off at consignments, Mercari, other online revenues. So if there's something you want, ask me, make me an offer. Um, and then we can go from there. Now this one I will be keeping, I believe. Oh wait, no, I don't know. So it was just this random, um, cord necklace and it had this really pretty, charm on it and then I read the back and it is a Carolyn Pollock 925 Relios piece very pretty very very pretty this piece I would probably sell um, as well because like I said I am into the southwest and I love silver and I love turquoise but I just don't this is just not my style so all right, so we got those. Now, 
we will move on to the shoes. Shoes, please. This is going to be a long one, guys. I hope y'all are still here. 25 minutes already. Uh, these are Fin Comfort. They have a very good resale value. I paid $5.39. They are brand new. Um, there's a spot on the bottom. But, I mean, these have never been worn. They're really cute. They are a 39, which I believe is like an 8, 8.5. Maybe a nine. I have to look these up. But Fin Comfort always has a pretty good resale value. These are pretty expensive. These were probably like $160, $200, especially because they're wool Mary Janes. These will be for sale on Mercari. These I picked up at a garage sale, this pair and this pair, and they were a dollar each. And I also picked up another pair of Jordans, red Jordans, but my daughter already took them. And sadly, the guy said he was selling them because the kids made fun of him for wearing Jordans. For wearing Jordans. I remember when, if you didn't wear Jordans, you got picked on. So for the fact that you're getting picked on for wearing Jordans, kids are assholes. Um, okay, so these are like a, a light purple lilac Air Force Ones. Uh, they need to be cleaned up a little bit, but overall they're pretty good condition. Just need some cleaning. And there are so many TikTok videos on how to clean these. So I will probably clean these. I may even dye them or do something fun with them just because I only paid a dollar. And if they get ruined, I'm not worried about it. So I did see some cool videos where they dunk them in the paint. So maybe. We'll see. These. Oh, wait. I don't even know if these are my size. Let's see what size these are first before I go ruining them. Oh, they're an eight and a half, so they're probably a little too big. These I picked up brand or dollar. They're not brand new, but they are in really good condition. They are Michael Kors trainers. <sighs> I don't think these are a size eight. These really aren't my sty style. I like chunky sneakers. Uh, my daughter bought me the Steve Madden blingy ones, and they're gorgeous. But I like a more chunky sneaker. That's just too flat for me, so I probably won't wind up wearing those. I will probably resell those on Mercari. These I picked up. I thought they were really cute. These are a size 9. So they're too big for me. I will have to resell them because I bought them for my daughter and she said no. <laughs> but they're, they're really cute. They're like a, a hiking boot. Um, they were $7. They need to be cleaned up. And they are Puma. And they're just really, really cute. They're gray with the pink. And then the splotches are gray all over here. So if you are interested, those will be on Mercari. These I picked up for myself. Uh, these, I think, were five. These were five. And they're brand new. They're just, and it, what is it, A New Day by uh, Target. And they're just, I can't wear really high heels, but I can wear, like, this is the max. Okay, sorry, we had to restart because Mr. Pops a lot. Had surgery on his hand and it went well. Thank you all for all the love. Um, it went well and he was a little swollen on his fingers today. So he was a little concerned. But he's all set now and he just wanted to let me know he was okay. Alright, so um, this stuff is all garage sale or thrift store. This, I don't know. I found two of these, three of these so far. I don't know why. And at the exact same garage sale, different colors. Um, this is a coach hat. For five eighty nine, and it's funny because when I first walked in, I think the first one I only paid two something for. But anyways, when I walked in, it was just sitting there, and I was like, "That C looks super familiar." And I'm looking, and I'm looking, and I can't find anything. And then I saw it on the back, but um, I bought these. So now I have two. I think I have black. Oh yeah, I have. Wait, I gave one away. Yeah, see, this one was two eighty nine. This one was five eighty nine. Now I have this one. I gave the other one away. So now I have two. Um, I'm going to keep the navy blue one. I'm going to give the gray one away for Christmas. Um, okay, now into this. So these were garage sales. This was a quarter. And it's a chain mail wallet. I've never seen one quite like this. I've seen other ones, but none like this. Usually like Snap or whatever. But this is so cute with a little chain. Oh, wait. Is there change in there? No. A little change thing, put your IDs in there, some cash, and this is Whiting and Davis. 
which was, it used to have a very good resale value. And now it's kind of just eh. But like everything, I'm sure it'll come back around. This I bought to resell. I will probably take this to my consignment shop because they like like this disco-y kind of stuff. Uh, next is this. I thought this was amazing. It is a uh, tooled, hand-tooled leather wristlet. Such good condition. Um, this is the inside. This has a vest zipper. That's what you put your. I think that's for like a checkbook, or maybe there was a mirror in there. Maybe that was a mirror. I don't know. Um, and then this side opens. So cute. Too bad it would not fit my phone. Almost like it's. Well, I don't know. It might. It might be like half inch too small because I have the. 13 Pro Max. So if you had a regular one, and then it's got this zipper back here. This is going to need some, like, because it's kind of hard to zipper. So just rub some wax paper, and it makes it glide so much easier. But that is so nice. Yeah, my phone is just like a teeny tiny, tiny bit too small. If you had a, a regular iPhone 11 or 13. It would fit, but not the Pro Max. Okay. Now, I have two bags that I bought for me. We will see if I use them. If I do not use them, I will be reselling them. One is this bag. Now, you know me. I am a super label whore, and it's very hard for me to use anything other than my high-end labels. It's tacky. It's very tacky that I got this way. I do not like it about myself, but I cannot help it because my designer collection is redonkulous so i mean yeah so anyways this bag is gorgeous it is so it's such nice leather it's my style i love this style bag like the speedy bag it's super soft leather it's got the quilting i love the color i love the feeling it's got this little tassel all about it it was $9.99. Anybody know who it is? Shout it out. Shout it out. I mean, she's still a designer. She's not no schmoo. But it is a Rebecca Minkoff. But oh my god, like I love this bag. I really, really do. The color, like I said, I just, it's such a great leather, soft leather with these studs yes i think i will wear this i think i will i'm going to i am gonna make myself even if it's once <laughs> so i paid ten dollars for that now besides those necklaces this guy is going to be the most expensive thing in this haul that i paid for not the most expensive the most expensive that i paid i guess you know me again i'm a high-end label whore only because I'm spoiled with the prices that I find them at. So it's warranted, I guess. But anyways, I saw this guy. Oh, how cute is this? I know that there's a Louis Vuitton bag like this. I can't remember what it is. But it looks like a train case, like a little mini train case. And it's coach. I freaking love this. And they, it was at Plato's Closet. And they had it up. And I had just sold a bunch of stuff. And I think I had like $110 worth of... Uh, money coming back to me and I, I just could not get over this bag I was like you know how much is it and did it, oh there's a tag. it's brand new it still has the little care cards I am obsessed with this bag it was $50 and then she told me well you have a $10 off coupon because you spent x and x amount of dollars which I didn't know was a real thing so I said, or, or no, 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 I'm sorry. It's a 20% off at Plato's when you spend so much. I was like, yep, sold, done. Oh, how cute is this? And it's got the crossbody. Like, this I would keep in my collection because it's unique. It is, it does have the coach emblem splashed all over the place, but it's got this, I. it's just, it's something different and I like different. If I'm going to wear coach or Michael Kors, it has to be special and this bag is special i also looked this bag up 
um does it say what the name of the bag is i looked this bag up and this bag still sells for like resale value um 150 to 250 so if i don't use it no it doesn't have the name if i don't use it i am going to resell it so either way it's not a loss like it's it's gains either way whether i keep it sell it keep it and then sell it either way it is a gain so same thing with this like i paid ten dollars for this i'm sure somebody would buy this for 25 dollars because it's just so unique. Like, it has to be unique if I'm going to wear it and it's not designer. Okay. Now, at one of the Salvation Armies I go to, the one close to my house, I love them. I do. But their prices have gotten ridiculous. Like, they had a... What was it? Oh, it's... I have a video of it. So, one of my videos coming up, I went yesterday. So, today's Sunday. I went yesterday on a Saturday thrift shopping just because I was bored and I was watching videos at home of other people thrifting, and I was like, I want to go. So Saturdays, I never find shit because it's so busy, you know, and a lot of places don't put new stuff out. Anyways, they had a Marc Jacobs purse there. Nothing special. $59. I was like, are you guys crazy? Like, it wasn't in the best condition. It wasn't even, like, a newer. It was, like, an older bag, like, just, like, a generic one. I'm like, God, you guys are, you guys are expensive. Um, so this is from a different, uh, one. I'm not going to say which one, but it's from a different one. Not my close to home one, which guys, it's so expensive. Like I stopped going there completely for like six months almost. And now every once in a while I'll stop in because every once in a while I'll find something. Um, so, but this is from a different one. I did find something when I went last week and you'll see that in another video. Sorry, not last week, yesterday. But anyways, I seen, so this one did also have, um, I don't know if it was Vera Bradley or somebody and it was marked super ridiculously high. And this one I saw, let me show you, show you, show you, $6.99, brand new with tags. This is a Toomey which is a very expensive uh, luggage line. Crossbody, messenger bag. So it's actually called the attache bag. And my brother was here in town with his wife and I had come home and they had come over. Um, and I was like, how much do you think this was worth? And I told him what I thought it was worth and he told me what he thought it was worth. He was like, I don't know, 50 bucks. I was like, no way. He's like, I don't, he's like, most I'd say is 75. I said, no way, because I know Toomey. I've actually bought Toomey before. I have a Toomey tote, and I think my tote was three-something. I was like, no way. That's way too cheap. And he was firm on that $70. He was like, I don't think it's more than $75. Blah, blah. So finally, we found it. It is the... At oh, I didn't even look in his pocket. It is the attache case, and it is... $250. Let me see if what we have here. It was $250 on the website. Oh, this is like... So, one thing about Toomey is they all the pieces have this barcode. And you can register your item. And if anything happens, they will find it for you. Also, it has warranty... Um, I don't know what the warranty on this one is, but on a luggage that I had, it was um, so long for replacement, so long for uh, repair, and then if they can't repair it or replace it, they give you a in-store gift card, and that's how I wound up with my, what do you call it, even though I much would have rather the suitcase. So anyways, this retailed $250. I paid $7. Brand new. Um, I offered it to my brother. He didn't want it. So I will be reselling that. And then last but not least, at the same store with the $35 Vera Bradley. This was $8.99. So this is a little bit harder. And I understand that these are harder to... Gucci! 
it Gucci, 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 Gucci. So this is my one, two, three, four, five, six Gucci. No, there's more. I've sold some. This is my six Gucci that I kept. Um, it has the zipper here. So, okay. Bad thing about this. This is deteriorating. It is just flaking and peeling. So what I want to do, but the inside isn't flaking yet, which is a big deal because they do. Um, this one is not. It seems to be in pretty good condition. But what I want to do is, the only issues it has, so this, I'm going to glue it and you won't even know it. I'm going to rubber cement, or not rubber cement, I'm sorry. Leather cement is a godsend. It is healed so much of my leather goods. So because it has just been sitting and this is kind of stiff leather, it's never really been used to wear in. This cracked here and the piping back here cracked. Easy fix. I will put that together and it'll be like it never happened. Um, only problem being is this, this, this. It's starting, this is starting to peel. So what I did notice is, as I've said before, with like Michael or um, Louis Vuitton and Dooney and Burke, they're they use the same kind of leather. So a lot of times their handles and and straps can be put onto a Louis Vuitton bag, um, re replaced their stuff because they use the same leather. So with this, you know who has the exact same color leather and the exact same. Um, so I'll have to find one that can go in here, but the vintage Liz Claiborne, that blue almost looks just like this, but it's Liz Claiborne, matches this. So I am on the hunt for a vintage Liz Claiborne bag to trade the straps. Now I could do um, one of my metal ones, but because this is so old, you can't really tell anymore if it's gold or silver. It's kind of a mix. Um, so I can't really put gold or silver because I feel like it would look funny and it's not original. But we will try. Uh, but if not, I am looking for a vintage Liz Claiborne. If anyone has one, they're looking to sell. Um, I did, which I totally forgot, when I was at the Goodwill yesterday, there was a fake, it was a fake Gucci, but it wasn't even like Gucci. I don't even know what, what, the, what it was. Um... I'm going to go back tomorrow and see if it's still there. And if it is, I'm going to grab it and replace the strap. But see, like, it's just crumbling. So that needs to be replaced. But otherwise, for $9, hell yeah, Gucci all day long. Gucci all day long. And that's a keeper. I will not be selling that. Even when I fix it, I will not be selling it. Um, okay, so that is it. And again, congratulations to the winner. And you have 24 hours to get back to me. If I don't hear from you by tomorrow at 6.30, I will be looking for a new number. Um, and I will do that live. So thank you guys so much for being a part of my channel. Thank you for those that in, were a part of the giveaway. And for those who are not, thank you anyway. Um, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe so that you can see more to come. Also hit the bell button so that you can see when new videos are released. I have been doing them every Sunday so far and plan to do them every Wednesday and Sunday for a while to get myself built back up and then I will do them. I will do three videos a week. Um, I will be doing more resale videos, how to sell, what I sell, what it sold for, stuff like that. So those are all coming up and thank you guys again so much.